Hey, what's popping, y'all? One Piece chapter 1068. We are a little bit late, but cut me some slack, all right? Get off my case. I, I had shit to do, all right? I had stuff to do. And let's drop, let's dive straight in. One Piece chapter 1068, like we said. The cover page, okay. We got Caesar and Judgy going at it. German 66, cold blooded voyage, all right. Two former members of Mads reunited. They're like, they're having a scuffle, but they're both dreaming of something. It's like, wait, hold up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it, they're dreaming of something, and the thing they're dreaming of is, it's Vegapunk. Yeah, it's Vegapunk, and on either side, there's Caesar and Judge. This, this doesn't matter. First page, let's go, let's go. Oh, I did get a little bit of a spoiler. Not like a little bit of a spoiler. It's just like a... I know Luchi's gonna do some impressive. I don't know what it is. We appreciate Cypher Pole going to the effort of, re of returning the Seraphim. But S-Bear can make its own way from there. I regrettably won't be able to greet you in person. It's been so busy lately. <laughs> okay. Please just order it to the return. Please just order it to return to the island. You can consider your mission complete. Thanks again for all the hard work. Okay, we got Luchi. He's contemplating. He's thinking a little bit. We got the pigeon. We got Kaku. Kaku. With a, what? That's a, that's a strange mask. If I do say so myself. That's not exactly a warm welcome. Yeah, you guys are indeed not welcome. So he has his suspicions. Okay, Luchi is like... Okay, Luchi. It's been a long journey. Can we at least... Pop in for some tea, says Kaku. It's so chilly out here. Yeah, no one's buying that. G14 is not too far away. Is that the is that the fucking um uh, fucking where where Colby's friends are? Not not too far. G14 is not too far. They're sure to give you a great reception. Yeah. Dr. Vegapunk, I presume. Says Luchi. Yes. Do you have any comments on all the recent disappearances at Egghead? Disappearances? What do you mean? Two months ago, a CP5 vessel vessel went missing. A month later, one of CP7s vanished too. And just two weeks back, it was a CP8 ship. Why hasn't a single government ship made it back after visiting you in the last two months? What? Is that really true? I can assure you, we all remember seeing those ships depart safely. Wait, hold up. What's going on? Why would they need to steal ships from the government? I don't know. Just what are you getting at? Out with it already. You think we sunk those ships, don't you? Lilith, don't antagonize them. I've got half a mind to let you dock so you can see for yourself. Whatever the fuck that means. That's even worse. Regardless, we can't let you in. Please turn back. Very well. Understood. Okay. Okay, so then they're, they're not letting the the CPs in, and Kaku is like, N now what, Luchi? And Luchi says, prepare to abandon ship. We will infiltrate using S Bear's ability, bro. You can't use S Bear against the creator. A direct assault would always end in those. Sea Beast making a meal of the ship anyway. Okay. Okay, so it's like a stealth mission now. Oh, we get we get Kuma, bro! Wait, hold up. I wasn't ready for this. At the Grand Line. Okay. Kuma, wait. He's still running, bro. Okay. Oh, is he gonna pop himself? No, nah, come on. But it, it takes days to travel in those pop things. So Kuma is running, he holds his hand up, he pops. And Dragon is like, Kuma. Dragon, shut the fuck up. Junkyard, egghead. Maybe, but if, if Kuma's gonna come right away, is like, then the then the, that scene of Kuma running away must have happened like a week ago or something. You wanna lead with us, old timer? 
How come? Isn't this your lab? Oh, okay. Okay, wait, hold up. Why does Vegapunk want to leave with Luffy? Let's go. It is. And up till now, I've been happy to spend every berry the government has given to fund my research. New ideas continue to pour out of me, of course. Unfortunately, I'm still limited by time, money, and manpower. I preserve because... I wish to change the world with my science. I want to make a world where free energy is available to all. Energy? Electricity. So Dr. Vegapunk, Einstein, Albert Einstein, his dream is Tesla's dream. His ultimate dream, bro. So wait, hold up. Vegapunk has a dream. This, mean, this means he can actually become a straw hat. Who wants who wants Vegapunk as a straw hat? Do you want him? I don't. I don't want him. <clears throat> but he can come with us. I don't mind. You clearly aren't following. Basically, you want to give stuff away to everyone. Yeah, basically. Nations often wage war over the natural resources we need to generate energy. Says Jinbe. Precisely, people can be so short-sighted. If they'd openly, if they'd only open their eyes, there's energy all around us. Okay, the world is teeming with it. If that raw power can be converted to a more apparent and accessible form, we'd never see another conflict spark up over again. Spark up over it again. I'm certain science will make that possible some someday. Damn, bro, Vegapunk is like. Hyping himself up, bro. Now I'm hyped. Nah. But, um, Luffy still doesn't care, okay? <laughs> That's just every single one of them. Nah, it's great you want to make people happy. I've got no interest in being a hero, though. Also, I still don't get why you want to leave. That's the thing. My quest to further my understanding of energy led me to investigating the ancient fuel. The powered that powered this mechanical soldier. My curious my curious nature as a scientist compelled me to take a peek. Imagine how much we'd learn if that forbidden thread of history was unraveled. After a dear friend of mine died, was it Clover? I found myself diving in deeper into that abyss to further his will. And something explodes. Oh it's Lucci, of course. Wait, is is Dr. Vegapunk talking about Clover? In short, I know too much. And now the government wants to erase me just like Ohara. Yes, he was talking about Clover, I guess. That Rukus might be Cypher Pole Zero. Luffy's like, Zero? Okay, they're here, bro. Let's go. CP Zero, the direct subordinates of the Celestial Dragons. What? Weren't they called CP9? Okay. CP0 is a division that stands above the rest. They say their members have historically been harbingers. What the fuck? Of catastrophe. Golly, this is truly a city of the future. I can hardly contain myself. Kako is excited, bro. I don't remember Kako being so like a jolly dude. But it doesn't matter. We got we got we got uh, Lucci standing with his coat, looking cool. Okay, so what's gonna happen? Let's see. Cipher pole agents don't they usually wear black suits? They didn't. Why did they? Why didn't they come through the normal port? Hey, did you guys hear about the two weaponized sea beasts that were taken out near the co near the coast? Don't tell me they're intruders. Okay. CP0, the Luchi gang ca causing a scene, bro. Shaka, CP0 are on the island. How did they bypass the port? Okay. Usopp is like, they're here? You're the worst, Rob Luchi. Stay away. Says Nami. Bro, y'all got this. Y'all got this. They must have realized that rejecting our request would inevitably result in the sea beasts consuming their ship. So they let it happen and used the Seraphim's pow pow powers to land instead. Wait, hold up. Hold up. 
They used Esper, huh? We have no choice then. The sacrifice of their ship shows their resolve to fight. Don't tell me the the Kuma Seraphim has the pawpaw fruit powers, bro. No fucking way. Damn, that's a that's a scary seraphim you got you got there. Okay. Evacuate the research and workers. At Atlas, make your way back to the lab. Prepare the seraphim. We're deploying S Snake, S Hawk, and S Shark. Wait, who are those? S Snake? Who's S Snake? S Hawk is obviously uh, Mihawk, and then S Shark is Seraphim Jimbei probably. But who's S Snake? Is it Boa? Entrust their command to the wait. Entrust their command to Sentomaru. Sentomaru is here. Now then, will you take me out to sea? I won't. I won't need long to pack Quasar. We're not going. Okay, we're not going on a field trip, old timer. Your sudden disappearance would definitely qualify as a c catastrophe. Oh yeah, I'll allow it though, since <laughs> you've got a funny head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then Chopper's like, "You call that a screening process?" <laughs> oh, Luffy. Hey, bro, if you disappear, that would cause us real problems you know in the world that would put us in danger but you know what i'll let you in because your head is funny <laughs> okay luffy then let's head up this place will soon be a battlefield would you mind bringing bonnie with you to lab stratum above the clouds sure no worries bonnie is still sleeping fucking new tabs Oh, well then, see you up there. Wait, no, wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Just like that. Whoa, bro. Okay, Dr. Vegapunk disappeared. He vanished. Apple Gramps. <laughs> Apple. All the futuristic tech is really messing with my head. Why are we? There's a space map monster. Oh, are these the CP, CP other agents? Okay. Our guns aren't working. I've always wanted to take a swing at an unworldly beast like this. You must be a genuine space monster. Tempest kick! Don't bother, it's a hologram. You could have told us sooner. Oh, nothing happened with the kick? You're as well versed as ever, Stussy. Yeah, this takes me back. I'm going to pop up and take a look, see, above the clouds. If Vegapunk's around, he'll be up there. Those two lines on the cloud. Can you see them, Luchi? Yeah. What's up with the lines? When an enemy target cross crosses those lines, ooh, a laser beam is triggered to neutralize the, the threat. It's a it's a deterrent system that convert that covers the entire lab stratum. They call it the Frontier Dome. Okay. Okay. So wait, Kaku just died. Okay. No, he, he's, he's fine. Kaku-san! Moral of the story is, it's unwise to underestimate the world's greatest scientist. You should really mention this kind of intel beforehand. <laughs> you're a piece of work, Stussy. Well, at least you're not chilly anymore, right? Wait, hold up. So Kaku is like a... Kaku is like legitimate... Like a... Gag relief character. Hey, what's the big idea, Atlas? I'm the only one allowed to rampage on Egghead. Dr. Atlas, Atlas, we're on the, we're, she's one of the Vegapunks. Atlas, wait, you don't stand a chance. Ultra, mighty, pa. And then, and then Luchi goes, it's, this isn't a game. Six pistol, six king pistol. Dr. Atlas. He's showing no mercy. What's a six king pistol? Oh, it's the, okay. Damn, bro. Luchi ain't holding back. Let's go. And Atlas is, Atlas is dead. Dr. Atlas. Dr. Shaka has ordered us to evacuate. Everyone retreat to the factory. We're under attack. 
And then this fucking cloud and all this shit coming out of Atlas. Looks like you're still breathing. Come on, let's head to the top with that vacuum rocket thing. Okay, we pan back to Luffy. Okay. Straw hat, pigeon guy. A fateful reunion. Okay, bro. Chapter end. No break next week. Damn. Okay, this chapter was a breeze, bro. This chapter was a breeze. Nothing like the one thing I want to first say before everything. I'm glad. I'm glad Luffy is the first person that gets to come face to face with Luchi. I'm I'm very glad about that. And um, of course, bro, the drawings, the panels. It's one piece, bro. Okay, guys, that's the end of the reaction. Now let's get to. Let's skim through the chapter again, like we always do. The cover page, okay. The cover page we got Caesar versus Judge, and then page one. We got Lucci requesting to come in, and then there's like this discussion between Lilith, one half of the Straw Hats with Lucci. And then we see Kuma again, and then Kuma paws himself off for just this one page. Okay, and the next page we got Vegapunk explaining his dream. So Vegapunk has a dream, like we said, so he can actually become a like a bona fide Straw Hat if he wants to, or if well, Oda wants him to. And then he tells him, like he tells Luffy about some important stuff. Luffy doesn't give a fuck. And then Jinbei is like, <laughs> Jinbei is just being a hater, as, as always. And then Luffy still doesn't give a fuck. And then an explosion happens. Bucci and the gang, they're here. Kaku is being like a gag relief, relief, co comedy relief, or whatever the fuck you call those guys. And then we got Sentamaru. Sentamaru doesn't appear in the chapter, but he gets a mention. So I'm kind of excited to see Sintamaro again, not gonna lie. And then we got Bonnie, and then we got, we got Vegapunk just vanishing. He's gonna pack up, supposedly. Damn. And then Stussy is like, Luchi, you, saw, you, see, you see those lines up there? When you, cro when you cross those lines, you get killed. Kaku, Kaku's dead. No, he's not dead. But the, but then Atlas, Atlas, she really dies. Atlas is dead. Luchi in this chapter, he just killed Atlas. And in the next chapter, Luffy's gonna kill Luchi. So that's that's what uh, that's what I'm gonna leave off with. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.